Welcome everyone, this is Bullseye, and I'm presenting to you the never-ending potion reserve. So what is the never-ending potion reserve? Basically it's a chest or a container that's never gonna be empty and you always have potions. So I have this room here, it's just a little mock-up. Every chest is filled to the brim with potions. So when I would be to grab a couple of potions, we see the indicator light is going on and it says we are brewing new potions. Also, we have this indicator light back here or this line of indicator lights that tells us how many water bottles are left in the system. And we should, yeah, well, we should. If it's empty, we should definitely go refill it. We're gonna do it soon here. And also, another functionality that the system has is first off, it automati automatically shuts up when the chest is full. So let's grab some junk items here and we fill it just like this. It's gonna brew the last brew cycle through and stop. So let's just wait, should be finished here soon. No, 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 maybe not. Okay, then yeah, let's come back there. I have on this side, yeah, well, on the other two, but I don't know if you know this, but if you see here, the hitbox of the stair disappears when I look here. When I right click, I open this secret passageway. And if you go up here, this is where the water bottles are stored. I can refill them. So let's just grab a stack and fill all our inventory slots. We have to go in survival mode and let's just refill the missing potions and back to game mode 1. And to close it again, just do it again here. So now it's full again. And here, this one finished. And when I grab the log, well, let's just all of them. Let's just do this. So, when I grab one log, it's not starting. Two, and it starts. That's because, and three are in the hidden reserve. And that's because, oh, uh, here. This hopper right here needs to have more than one potion in it to disable the cycle because yeah, one potion is always running through when it's empty the potion stand. So yeah, more than one. Most of the time it's three. Well, at least here. And also I can disable the whole system. The button uh, levers could be pretty much anywhere. It just goes into this line of redstone, it goes through all the different potion stands. And when I would be to empty this chest out completely, it would not refill, that's the buffer. But when I would be to enable it, it starts. And also, which is pretty neat, you can disable it again and it stops after the one brew cycle is doing right now and it stops but it's finished the cycle, so I think that's pretty neat. And yeah, it's, I think it's a really great system. So let's just 
check out how it works. So over here we have the system in its bare minimum. This is the design I made and it's fairly small. It's a uh, seven deep. Uh, not sure how tall. Uh, well, a little bit uh, variable is in there anyway, so uh, yeah, doesn't matter that much. The indicator light is optional, you don't really need it, as well as this shut off system right here. Um, so the redstone part itself is just these six blocks deep and well uh, yeah and three wide but not tileable three wide four wide you will from airspace between it but um okay i'm gonna try to explain how it works it's at least uh, in the bare minimum so we have the brewing stand of course then one hopper where all the brewing ingredients are in, which powers um, the storage. And that's the main part. When the last ingredient gets pulled out and put in the brewing stand, the whole system starts working basically. We have a timer here that starts when that happens and triggers the emptying mechanism down here after the last one is uh, finished burning through and also it's triggering the ingredient so we have this ingredient always in here and if I would be to start well, yeah also we can see that here uh, two in here and I'm checking that with this competitor in, I don't know what the second mode is called, but you have to right click it once. And one unstackable item in here. So there has to be more than one yeah, push in here, so we do this. And... Oh, right, I disabled it. Okay, we enable it and it starts brewing. Yeah, down is enable. And this is the enable disable system down here. When the potion, or when the system is brewing, this torch will always be on. And with that disable this torch. When this is powered, the system is blocked. It's emptying right now. So that's all right. Uh, yeah, pretty much it does the same. So if I disable it, we're gonna wait until this disables, which happens when the system is finished brewing. So uh, let's take one out. 22 seconds or so. And yeah, this will go out the torch lid and it empties the system and stops. No matter how many potions are in you. Okay, so uh, that's the basic principle of the system. Now let's go and build it. What you need is in this chest. So, redstone, repeaters, comparators and redstone torches, droppers, hoppers, a chest or a different container, a lever, brewing stand of course, one unstackable item, circle a block, a, a stack of blocks, 50 items for the counter and indicator light if you want. If you don't want it you need a lot of these but you see. And also some ingredients, we're gonna use just two though it's a little quicker. So, what you have to know is the system is three below the chest. So, if your ground level is here, keep that in mind. 
then mark yeah, like this and the redstone blocks put your lever on you don't need this anymore this is well if you just do one also you could I'm gonna show you later <laughs> do this a repeater here and a redstone torch here and redstone here now this block I'm just gonna use redstone lamp of course it doesn't have to be is pretty much the most important block in the system either that or this one yeah that's this one put blocks all around and that's why I used the redstone lamp just so we can see when the redstone is lit and okay I'm gonna hop here do one of those things and one more place a repeater here here and here these both on four redstone there two here do something like this oops play that block play that and this comparator and redstone repeater like this redstone repeater there are no different repeaters but okay and hoppers like this facing into each other this is going to be the timer now what you're going to do is place two hoppers like this and like this and not this way and this way right click it once this one put uh, your I don't have an unstackable item dang it give me no the other way this one Put the one. Ah, okay. One like that. Play the red uh, block on here. Redstone torch like this. And do one of those. So, like here. This is for the bottles we can put them in actually. You would feed the water balls in here and this just stops it so um, yeah place blocks like this a torch on there and redstone there redstone all along here put one and a block here a comparator a block a torch and a block here and then what you will need is I got that one this and we are pretty much done but not completely Do one of those, place a block and stack, no, this and, come on, Let's just stack up with hoppers and droppers, place a repeater, two ticks, place redstone and this one on one tick. Okay, the system should be finished, put in our ingredients and also our 50 items in here and well if you want a shadow switch which I recommend you would place a redstone torch here 
And if you want the indicator light, you would go like this. Place a block here, a redstone there, and just so this doesn't get powered, a repeater. And you would put your redstone lamp maybe here or so. Could put it somewhere else, just not here. You could not open the chest then. And at the moment the system is disabled. I should have done this, but uh, oh well. So to enable the system you would have to put the stuff in here. And now we're gonna get the first uh, brewing cycle is just water bottles because the system puts the ingredients in at the end. And we're just gonna wait this 20 seconds, it's almost over. Okay, it's empty and now it's brewing our potions. Wonderful. Empty our inventory, good. So, yeah, let's just wait this one brewing cycle. And, yeah. Our potions. Here, this one's off, turns it on, and the counter is running through. Once it's empty and well this hopper is empty, this will pulse and reset itself, get emptied and refill it. To disable it just turn this off and this one will turn off when it's empty, so it will just disable itself. Now if you want to stagger these beside each other you would have to do one of those numbers and now it's a four white tileable design so all the red zone is just here these three and this would go here and power all the line through so I hope you enjoy this design and I hope you liked my little attempt at this video so Thank you for watching and I'll see you maybe in the next video. Bye.